Hey, this is Dave coming at you from Michigan. Figured I'd do another update video. We've got a lot done over the last couple weeks. Um, but yeah, I figured um, since we're doing the sheathing, I guess I'll give this zip system sheathing a review. It's really good stuff. I've been telling everybody it's about 40% more expensive, but it's actually like 80% uh, more than just regular half inch OSB. Um, when I looked at the paperwork, I'm like, wow, it, it really is about 80% more. Um, but I think it was still worth it. Um, you know, it's got like this, I don't know if it's a, it almost seems like it's more of a spray than a, than a rubber membrane they put down it. Uh, it's, 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 if it's a roll down stuff, it's really thin, but it's still, they say it's, uh, once you put it on and it's taped, um, it's good for your, they, they, it's a six month warranty with no water getting in. Um, so yeah, it's really good stuff. It comes with, instead of having the lines, it actually comes with really good, um, spots. So you know exactly where to shoot. Yeah, it's really good stuff. And uh, let me show you what I got done. Um, it's, it's been a lot less stressful knowing that the house is finally getting dried in. But it took some time to cut back those rake overhangs I screwed up on. I ended up bringing it in, in a foot because there's no way to make that look right when you build those Queen Anne's, which are these hip return things. Um, but yeah, we got the whole garage done all the way up to here and we have the back of the house done. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's all taped. And my advice to you, we did a couple uh, roofs over in the back there. And then we're like, oh, we'll come back later and tape. But we regretted it because to come back later and tape, it's, it's so we ended up just taping as we go. As, as far as we would, you don't want to tape as you go because if you keep sheeting and taping, you don't really want to walk on the tape once you've done it. So we would just do a section and then just tape it. It takes like a spot like this area, it takes you about, 40 minutes to an hour to tape it real good and um, it's not the funnest thing to tape it's not too hard but this is a seven and a half pitch and that's what made it difficult it just it just kills your heels and your calves but um, here I am complaining and it's gonna really hurt when we start actually roofing but anyways yeah we're really happy that we got it and it works because it's rained a lot on the spots like back there and it's bone dry in the house and like I said they say it's up to six months warranty that doesn't mean it's gonna start leaking after six months. But if, if it's a crew of carpenters and they don't have really that big of a house, I would still recommend just paying the money for normal half inch OSB. But in our case, since it's gonna just take us so long and uh, my business that I run, my rental business is just pulling me away. Um, with this coronavirus, I'm getting like a decent amount of vacancies. And you know, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna rent the machine for another month, get this stuff done, you know, cause we have the second floor to do still. There's a lot of detailed work in this. So I figured just rent it for another month cause you get like a huge discount if you just pay for the four weeks instead of doing it weekly. And um, if we do get this done, which I'm assuming it's probably gonna take us like two and a half to three weeks, we'll just start building the, you know, the soffits, you know, putting the ledger board, putting the blocks in every 24 because I think we're going to do like a tongue and groove one by four in the soffits so um, if you're doing regular uh, siding you would just put the channel like the F channel um, but in this case you're going to want a, a solid ledger and 24 blocks going across perpendicular to the wall and to the back side of the fascia board but anyways let me walk around the back really quick and show you it's amazing though we have lucked out with it's you know we're out of winter now but we lucked out the later part of the winter I guess we're making up for the fact that it rained constantly from April to like basically late August that just put us at a standstill for a few months. But I guess uh, the carpenter gods were good to us because they, you know, it was a good winter. Ended up being a good winter. Let me see if I can get a picture of how we did this under here. Yeah, we forgot to put that little 15 inch block there, but I figured we'll put a block there because the block rests up on the hip um the hip that comes down and just add a little bit of strength um, but it turned out really good and then we just use some of the roof sheathing for the walls in there because we had it left over we didn't really see any spot we just on some of the stuff we just went every four feet just to use it up and let's see here This was pretty funky right here, the way that this girder truss came in here. And you could see how instead of mitering a 45, I just let one run and then you go 
you, you let the other one run whole and nail it into each other it's much stronger that way and then same thing we did the whole string the line cut them back and it looks pretty straight there's a couple imperfections man you know I think when I was doing this side I wasn't feeling good that day and I was just going fast but it's still it was within an eighth of an inch so it still looks good once you get the the drip edge on there in the roof you know no one will ever see any imperfection there and then I came across a funky thing but we kind of figured it out we had like a queen ants that we had to do but it I don't know how it's gonna look when it's all said and done with the other ones up above it but I did this one actually today it's like a half queen ants because it doesn't turn an outside corner it just stays on a straight wall but I figured I didn't want to just run a straight box because then it doesn't match the rest of the Queen Anne. So we just took half of the measurement, you know, half of what sticks out and we just, you know, like in other words, that way. And we just hipped it straight off the wall. Let me see if I can, yeah, like that. I think it looks pretty good. And then I just went ahead and slapped that ledger in there and then We'll just continue that on and then you'll start running the blocks every 24 and you just shake hands with the rafter tail, shoot it, shoot it into the ledger board. That'll make that super strong. And it, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. And so we're going to do this really high part whenever it's real dry. I think we could pull it off, but we still have standing water here. But we're really happy we got this this back part done and then this whole entire part over here done and I don't even know how long it took us it really doesn't matter how long it takes when you're just doing it you just get it done I don't know if the sun's gonna blind I wish I could show you the top part but if I go over there it'll just be sun right in the camera and I don't think that'll look good it'll blind us all but yeah that's pretty much it and then we're planning like I said to just finish up the rest in the next four weeks I'm sure the rental place will just love the fact I'm stopping in there tomorrow morning to let them know I'm just gonna rent it for another month with the basket it's just a no-brainer you can just go anywhere you want I mean look at all this rough train you'd have to walk ladders and set picks up all through here and I think for however much money the the lift is costing me I'm saving double that with the time labor uh, it takes a lot of the danger out of it injuries all that good stuff And what else? Uh, yeah, but the zip system, like I said, it's it's pretty much, I mean, it's not double, but it's every bit of 80% more. And I would just recommend it to people that are in the same situation I am, people that are like do-it-yourselfers that you don't know how long, you know, maybe you're doing stuff, other things, like I have to get, I have to get pulled off of the job for about a month or two to do my other stuff, but... If it's someone like me, I would recommend just paying the extra money. That way, once it's taped, it's pretty much roofed. Um, it's not going to leak. And then another good idea that I think I'm going to do is when I come back from doing all my fun stuff on my other business, I will, um, so that'll be a month that I give it back to the guys, the machine. And then basically when I go to roof this, I think I'm going to re-rent it and then just do all the drip edge around all the weather shield from the basket, sh um, shingle up, you know, five or six shingles high, set jack, set the boards all the way around the whole house and then get rid of the machine. And then that way you can just ladder, put one ladder in an easy spot to get up on the roof. And then basically just roof the whole entire rest of the house. And of course with the shingles, I'm having rooftop delivery. I'll probably leave like 15 square down on the ground just cause we'll have the lift doing the lower parts. But a majority of it will still be rooftop delivered and then I guess the sequence with me because since it is gonna take me so long to do this house um, get the roof done put the windows in and then just start doing the siding because if I started doing anything on the inside of the house doing like the flat work in the basement or wiring or anything you know how this weather shield is gonna look in another year so I figured the next step will be roof windows and doors and then uh, start doing the siding right away. Get the whole house buttoned in before I do any work at all on the inside. That's probably uh, the best way to do it. Feel free to comment on these videos if anybody sees it to, you know, comment if there's anything that I'm missing or that I should do better because I'm all about uh, constructive criticism. Um, wherever I can get it because that means I'm learning something. And I'm hoping I'm teaching other people too at the same time. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go up to the front here again. 
hopefully this video is turning out okay because the sun's kind of glaring but you know my father-in-law my nephew luke they've been helping out a lot because they're like the ground guys while me and my son justin are up in the lift and they're doing all the cuts and a lot of times we can throw and go the full sheets and then just have measurements that I shout down to them on a storyboard and they just cut them and then we bring the lift back down, throw up like three or four sheets at a time and then put in the cut pieces and it's been going pretty pretty quick. But anyways, and then we have loose ends like my father-in-law was working on this Tyvek today and then um, like I said, we're going to have a lot of work inside here around those windows. Even those little dormers, I think I might sh actually shrink those to like a six inch and, so, and that's so small. I don't know if I should do little Queen Anne's on each side because then there's going to be this weird space between it or just do a full eyebrow across or just box those out. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be the next spot. Once we get some sheeting up there, we can take these X braces off these posts. And um, we still have to build the overhangs up here, sheet this, tie back that before we start sheeting. And um, I, the lift, that's the beauty of it. It'll just boom us all the way up diagonally right up there all the way to the top and we can just work out, out of the basket right through there so it's been working out great but anyways uh that's the update and hopefully i'll bring some more videos i just didn't want to keep doing videos like oh we installed this two by six today oh we put five sheets of this up you know every day every day making a video and i've been busy and uh you know with the whole coronavirus thing going on you know we've just been trying to stay away from everybody and I just figured I'll just keep working and you know it's kind of safe out here because it's 10 acres of woods and it's just like us four working and you know you know hopefully this thing passes pretty soon because I know a lot of people are suffering but uh anyways this is Dave from Michigan signing off.